What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane. This is 5 Star Cars. Um, thanks very much for just uh, checking out the video, clicking on the channel. I hope you're having a great day and just even taking a few minutes out of your day, uh, you know, to check us out. Uh, you know, I know this is very tough on us all with this whole pandemic thing going on. I have no gym. I have nothing to do. You know, I'm stuck at home. Um, I washed my car today, my crappy golf, that was about it. But I hope wherever you are in the world, you're doing okay. And, uh, you know, hopefully my videos can burn up a few minutes of your day if you're bored. Um, yeah, so thanks for checking me out. Uh, one thing I want to address, guys, even to my other subscribers, and thanks very much, we're actually nearly at 1,000 subscribers, which is great. Uh, we're just over 800, but I did get a comment on uh, Instagram from a person who tagged Aaron Life Apollo saying I'm copying him, which I am not in any what way copying him at all. The guy obviously didn't check out my videos. Uh, I always say that I have said in previous videos that I'm not like Aaron Life Apollo. He does news. He goes look. He he looks for the latest news, the you know the the exclusive stories, stuff like that. I don't do that at all. I just watch the super. I just watch your favorite supercar uh, YouTubers like yourselves, and I just basically chat to you about what my own thoughts were on the video that I watch. It could be a video from five months ago. It could be a video from yesterday or today. I just chat about my thoughts, and your man completely got me wrong. I don't know why he bothered even tagging Aaron because like I'm not copying him at all. And this, you know, will eventually transition into more vlogging in a project car when we get monetized. And in saying about getting monetized, uh, guys, smash that subscribe button if you like this kind of content. Follow me on Instagram, on my personal or whatever, uh, on the channel's one as well. Because when we get monetized, I'm going to show you the paycheck of this channel every month. No other car channel is doing that. So... The more you watch my videos and even subscribe, the quicker we get monetized. And I'm gonna show you the first paycheck and then after that, every month, you're gonna see how much the channel makes. And we're gonna to decide together what kind of project car we get and the paint job and wheels and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be transparent with you guys and it's just a bit of fun. Uh, I hope that's something that you like and I think it'll be something different. So we'll see, we'll see where this goes. Also, when we get monetized, I'm doing a giveaway. Lamborghini AD, uh, uh, LED sign behind me or Ferrari one. Uh, whichever one you want, just pick whatever color and I'll send it to you where, wherever you are in the world. Or you can pick some merch from your favorite car YouTuber like Tavares, DD, TJ Hunt, whoever, and I'll buy you a hat or t-shirt or something and I will send it out to you that way as well. So get subscribing if you want to get me in a chance for the giveaway to win a prize as well when we get monetized. And last but not least, guys, the last thing on my list is we come up here. It's a website I've made. I'll also put it in the description below where you can vote for your 2020 Car YouTuber of the Year. At the end of the year, I'll tell you who's won, who you have voted for, who's your favorite Car YouTuber. So get to the site, get voting. And if you want me to add eBay to that list, just comment below and let me know and I'll add them to the list. Also on the website, you can make an account and you can go to the forum section and you can create threads to chat about your favorite car YouTubers as well. So, you know, there's plenty to do. I'm mixing it up, trying to keep it entertaining. And, you know, we will get there, guys, with vlogs and uh, I'm working with some dealerships for maybe some car reviews, stuff like that. So, you know, it's going to be a mixture of everything. It's not always just going to be me sitting here chatting about other car YouTubers as well. And the summer's coming in, so which is great. So thanks very much for sticking by me if you have so far. We're going to dive into today's video. Um, I didn't bring out a video yesterday because there was nothing for me to talk about. I'm just not going to, you know, drop a video on everything and anything because I have to. I'm going to make these videos because... I've watched whatever I've watched and I have something to talk about. In saying that, so I'm just going to cover briefly on DDE talking about getting their uh, Corvette C8. Uh, vehicle versions, big news, might be potentially getting a P1 or unless he's trolling us, I'm not too sure. Uh, Bees for Build update on their Mustang build, uh, which is pretty cool. And Hoovy's Garage update on his Mercer Lago. It just goes from <laughs> bad to worse for that guy with that car. So, yeah, there, that's what I'm going to be covering today, guys. Um, basically, so sit tight, grab some popcorn, and let's jump into it. So, the news, we I think we all knew it was coming. DD uh, talking about trying to get their Cor uh, Corvette C8. Um, it's stuck down in California. So the borders are closed. They can't go anywhere. If you've probably seen the video, they've rang a few dealerships to get one, and they couldn't. And yeah, it's tough times, you know, I think every, a lot of car YouTubers are stuck in positions with cars and projects where they can't kind of progress with them. Uh, sort of stuck at home on their island, Victoria, and uh, what they said was they tried to rig a few dealerships, couldn't even get one, but they're that hard to get. 
Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm showing this all this lists up. Um, you know, they're going to have a lot planned. There's going to be so much content coming out for you guys. But just my favorite bit on the video is here where they were just in the uh, overhead pass with revving the... Uh, I think we'll pick... Uh, I think we'll go with Damon's Ferrari. It sounds ridiculous. <laughs> You guys got to vote. Which car sounds better? So yeah guys, absolutely. The sound of the Ferrari is so, so nice. The F1 sound. They sound pretty epic as well. Uh, Chris's uh, R35 didn't sound too great, but I'm sure he'll, he'll fix that. Uh, but yeah, they're such an amazing car. Um, and Joe DD so cranking content you know every day to keep us entertained so let me know what you think below guys what they're going to do with the C8 I, mean, I don't know what they're going to do with it it's going to be there's a lot of people out there like TJ Hunt Twin Turbing and stuff like that so it'll be interesting to see what they're going to do on their side of it and they're really going to put that car to its paces as well uh, so moving on to number two on the list uh, Vehicle Versions just did a P1 uh, review one of my dream cars, um, you know, my uh, Konisa Regera would probably be my top dream car, but a P1 would be pretty close, in purple, of course. Um, so he did the review, and it was a pretty, it was back to vehicle versions days. Great review, uh, in depth. Looks like the cameraman has started, they, they've read the comments about the cameraman, like, moving around too much. Um, you know, it, it looks like he's just getting back on his feet and get back into the flow of things listening to subscribers what they're saying in the comments which is what you need to do and he's going to go and gain that traction back but the big news is it looks like he's teasing he's going to buy one now i don't know how much a cheap p1 is going for these days i'm going to take a wild guess anywhere from two and a half to three million would that be cheap maybe two million i'm not too sure what that's going for but i wonder did he buy it or is he just kind of i'm not too sure like are, are people in the comments saying oh you're just trolling and and you know if if dd are saying they're going to buy it they buy it so it's going to be interesting to see if he if he has actually bought it. if he has bought a p1 that will get his channel back on track definitely it's going to be interesting times let me know in the comments below guys do you think he's bought the p1 or not and are you glad he's getting one i can't if he does i can't wait to see the content he's going to make with it so next on our list uh is bees for build they're trucking through the um, the build for the Mustang. So they have a 2015 Mustang that was crashed and they're changing it to a 1965 Mustang, the Eleanor version, I think. And yeah, a lot of work going into this is absolutely insane. Uh, so much work on into it. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just in nuts the way what they've done with it. Um, you know, as you can see with a clip here coming up, Chris is showing the, the mocking up and tacking on the uh, defenders and stuff like that. I mean, they're really getting into it now and I'm really enjoying the build. I think they're under a bit of pressure to get this done because they need to do other builds as well. But I'm really enjoying it. The amount of work and cutting and, and uh, measuring they have to do and they have to get, get new wheels as well. Uh, I'm really loving this build. I always, always like this channel and I just can't wait to see how it turns out. Um, you know, every time that gets a video comes out by them, I'm straight clicking on it and liking it. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys, uh, how they're doing on the build. Are you enjoying it? And uh, what other future projects with Bees for Build you're looking forward to? Uh, last but not least on our list, Hoovy's Garage, uh, yeah, Mercy Lago, or Mercy Lago update, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one, so basically, you know, he's paid seven over $7,000 for a computer that he needed to run diagnostics on, on it, which, you know, I've watched the Wizards channel, if you haven't seen it, he, he chats about why it was so, you couldn't break it or hack the port with third party software to even check it out, seven grand's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for a laptop that's needed, but it's needed nonetheless. Uh, a lot of stuff is has to be done. He did get a better clutch. I can't remember who it was, was from. It's more of a beefier, uh, long, longer lasting clutch. And uh, yeah, he's just messing. They were just checking out the car and this happened. It's typical hoovies, huh? It, it would have to happen to him. Um, you know, just, I think, a bear, a bearing, but a, a, something went, I can't remember what it was, and, yeah, fluid spurted out, and 
another thing broken for him but as he said it's better off breaking now while they have the car there and t- nearly torn apart to, to find out what's wrong with it um you know I love like again if, if you've seen my other videos Marshall Lago definitely uh, on the lower scale of money um, I know they're not that cheap but would definitely be my dream 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 car I've always had as a poster car and um, you know Paul from Supercars of London the Fab Speed exhaust ugh, absolute heaven uh, the best sounding exhaust in the world in my opinion so uh, hopefully someday but yeah I doubt it uh, but yeah great episode by Hoovy you know it's just seeing what he's going through and the amount of money he has to spend to get that car done. You know, it's absolutely insane. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think of Hoobie's channel and what you think is going to happen with the Mercy. You know, it just what you think in general. I think it's a really interesting what's happening with it and, and the pitfalls you get with the Mercy, you know. So that's everything for today. Thank you very much if you watched to the end. It does mean a lot to me. I know I'm new, but I'm trying. I edit the videos on my own. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to try and give you fun content. And when all this pandemic is gone and... I have a, uh, when we get monetized, the fun is going to start, guys. I really can't wait to do a project car witchy and see where we go. So thanks very much again, uh, wherever you are in the world. Have a great day. Peace out and bye.